Hello. Leave this to me. Nice job. Try this on for size. Do your best. Leave this to me. Thanks. Leave this to me. Okay. Back me up. Thanks. How's that? Amazing. Oh, hey there. I've heard about you. You came here to enter the Ninja World League tournament, right? Well, you're in the right place. I'm in charge of teaching you the ropes. The name's Konohamaru Sarutobi. Let me know if there's anything you need, okay? Uh, uh... Oh, it's, sorry. I guess I should speak more formally. Just ignore it if I slip up every now and then, okay? Uh, uh, uh... <clears throat> sorry to uh, cut to the chase, but uh, I'd like to guide you around the village. First, we have the VR Ninjutsu Arena. If you want to participate in the tournament, you'll probably come here a lot. Go ahead and visit the VR Ninjutsu Arena. I'll explain everything once we get there. There you are. This is Lord Kakashi Hatake, the sixth Hokage and the teacher of our current Hokage. He'll be the one in charge of the VR Ninjutsu Arena during the tournament period. I'm just helping out a bit, really. So, is this the new tournament participant that I read about in the report? Yep, sure is. And I've been put in charge of the guide duties. I see. Well, let me quickly explain how the arena works, then. It's pretty simple, really. You see, our village has developed a VR device. It lets you train anywhere that you want. It's simple, right? One of the coolest things about this device is that it also lets you fight with ninja from the past. Not the real people, of course. They're just data but it's still real enough to let you experience how strong they truly were. Oh, by the way, the Ninja World League Arena is based on some stages from the past. They're from the times where the 6th and 7th were still active in the field and were built to meet the requests of ninja who are serious about competing. Here, young ninja can fight serious one-on-one -on -one battles on stages based on famous history. <laughs> Doesn't that just get your blood pumping? Well, whether it's pumping or not, you should just give it a try.
Remember, teamwork! Okay, let's start with the basics. First comes movement. Try moving over towards me. Next is wall running. Try running up that cliff. If you run straight toward it, you'll be able to run up the side of it. Good. Looks like you know how to control your chakra properly. Now I'll tell you about chakra jumps. You can use those to jump even farther distances. a wide valley, just use a wire kunai. You can use a recovery if it seems like you're gonna fall off the cliff, so don't forget. Next, I'm going to teach you how to attack. All right, try attacking your opponent now. <laughs> the key to attacking is to always keep an eye on your opponent. And on the battlefield, Losing sight of your opponent is akin to suicide, but always keep this in mind. Throwing kunai is a good way to hit far away enemies. Now, you'll need to protect your body when your enemy attacks. Do this by guarding. Guard in order to withstand your opponent's attacks and create openings. Now, you should know that you also have the ability to deflect enemy attacks while guarding. Don't forget to predict your opponent's moves and dodge when you can. If there's not enough time to guard or dodge, remember that you can always just use a substitution jutsu. After using the jutsu, you can take a moment to think and plan your counterattack. Let's continue our training. Ninjutsu. As you probably know, ninjutsu can be activated by channeling chakra. The effects of each jutsu widely vary. Some jutsu are made for dealing damage, while others can be used to impair opponents' abilities or to freeze them in place. 
Finding the ninjutsu that best fits your own fighting style is the key to attaining victory. Aside from basic ninjutsu, we also have secret techniques. In order to activate a secret technique, one needs a large amount of chakra. But be aware that these techniques are much stronger than normal ninjutsu. Use your chakra, wait for the right timing, then aim and fire. Well, that's it for basic training. Now, just don't forget to practice. Good work, and keep on doing your best. Alright, so that's the basic flow for the VR Ninjutsu Arena. New missions will be added based on your strength. If you want to get stronger, you'll need to come here regularly. Sometimes, certain people are able to unlock new missions for you. As an example, here. Let me give this one to you. Okay. I just added a mission to the arena for you. Hmm, I know. How about this? Why don't you take on Kakashi's mission in order to review everything you've learned? Good idea. This way, you'll be able to review everything from taking a mission right down to clearing one. You can start the mission whenever you want. Once you're ready, speak to the sixth. Want to enter? Until you see what I've learned. Ah, the manuscript pages are all in the village. <laughs> I won't be able to gather all these up on my own. Hey, you! Can you help me gather up these important documents that have been scattered all over the village? I'll give you a reward, of course. Uh, please, j just help me out. Help me out here. We managed to find them all. I never thought I'd uncover an issue of the Makeout series that I'd never read, though. 
This isn't part of the makeout series. It's something completely different. <laughs> has its own charm. <laughs> oh. Oh. I think I'll need to go over there and give it a deep read. <laughs> I thought for a minute you got interested in this and we're coming to steal it. Yes! Sorry, I forgot. Here's the uh, reward I promised you. Now, time to concentrate. Mmm, yes. What a good development. Whoa! Good work. Hmm, impressive. It looks like you've really gotten the hang of using the VR ninjutsu arena. The reward you earned is yours to use as you see fit, but it is possible that some of them need to be appraised. You can do that at the place I'm going to guide you to next, the ninja tool shop. Come on, we'll head over there next and I'll show you the ropes. This is the Ninja Tools shop, where Ninja Tools can be bought and sold. Ten Ten owns this place. Not only is she well versed in Ninja Tools, she's an expert at using them too. <laughs> you sure know how to give someone an introduction, Konohamaru. Anyway, thanks for introducing my shop and all, but what exactly are you doing here? She also takes on appraisal requests. Show her the reward you just got from the mission you completed. Appraisal? Oh, okay. So, what do you want me to appraise?
Okay, all done. If you find anything else you want me to appraise, just bring it by and I'll take a look at it. Oh, it looks like the appraisal went quite well. That's great. Now, next, you should try and equip what you earned. You can equip things over at the inn. The inn is right next to this place, so I'm sure you'll spot it immediately. Let's head there now. seen you before this is one of the new tournament participants Sakura I've been guiding them around town explaining things to them oh okay so you're planning to be in the tournament too is that right I'm Sakura Uchiha the tournament staff needed more people so I decided to help out nice to meet you so I'm guessing that since you're here you want to change up some of your equipment right yes Okay, it's not that hard, so let's get it over with. Here's how you change your equipment. Now, make sure you listen carefully. Okay, that looks good. It's nice to change up your appearance every once in a while for a change of pace. Come back whenever you feel like it. Thank you very much, Sakura. Oh, wait, I know. I believe that the best thing for you to do right now is to find a teacher and start learning from them. For your master to train under. Hmm, well, I guess that you could choose me, but... Hmm. Oh, hey, that reminds me. I heard that Sasuke's back in the village right now, somewhere. Whoa, speak of the devil. What? Oh, uh, see, the thing is... So I thought maybe you could be the mentor, Sasuke. Oh, I see. However... Since you're using that VR device, 
Do you really need a real-life master? Huh? Can't you just use the data that's already contained within the VR device to supply yourself teachers as well? Oh, uh, I see. Well, I suppose that would be possible, yes. A student's growth depends greatly on who their master is. Therefore, a student should choose a master based on what they want to become. I gotta strike while the iron's hot. Come on, let's go. There you are. Watch my back. Well, looks like you've got a master all set. Great! Now you'll be able to expand your repertoire a bit. I'll stay nearby for a little while. So feel free to come see me if you need anything else. Thank you very much. Okay. Why don't you try taking on a mission with your master now? Make sure that you pay close attention and try to learn from your master's movements and techniques while you fight. If you clear several missions with your master, I'm sure you'll be able to acquire some new abilities. Can't lose this.
Good work. It looks like you completed all the missions we prepared. Now, prepare for the final explanation before you enter the tournament. All right. He'll tell you everything you need to know from here on. Now go on and hurry to the Hokage's estate. 